let's look at this question a spends rupees 100 on articles worth rupees 1 each 2 each 3 each and 5 each if he buys 42 articles which of the following can be the number of rupees 3 articles okay so 1 rupee articles let them be a let this be b c and d so a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 42 and then the amount spent is 100 so let's look a plus 2b plus 3c plus 5d is equal to 100 they are asking me which of the following can be the possible number of rupees 3 articles rupees 3 articles is c so if c is 12 if c is 12 you got a plus b plus d is equal to 30 and a plus 2b plus 5d is equal to 100 minus 36 or 64. Okay, let me see if I can make one acceptable case out of these two things. A B D twice of this 2a plus 2b plus 2d should be equal to be equal to 60. Fine. So I get this minus this. So 3 sorry 3d minus a is equal to 3d minus a is equal to 4 so let's go d equal to let me check d equal to 2 and a equal to 2 d equal to 2 a equal to 2 what will b now turn out to be 12 plus 2 14, 16, 1, so we left with 26. Let's see if the equation on the bottom is balancing. 2 plus 52, 54, 54 plus 36, 90. Yes, this is possible. So option A as of now is in part of, is in play. Let us look at the second case. Let us look at the second case here. We are checking if C can be 13. Uh, let me check it here. If C is 13, I will get A plus B plus D is equal to 29. And A plus 2B plus 5D is equal to 13 into 3 is 61. This should be 61. Okay. Again, 2A, 2B, 2D is equal to 58. Can I make a case out of this? I will get 3D minus A is equal to 3 3d minus a is equal to 3 so d equal to 2 a equal to 3 i can get this okay so if d is equal to 2 a is equal to 3 b will be equal to 14 plus 2 15 14 plus 3 18 18 1 from this i should be left with 24 let's see i have 3 48 39 and Yes, this also adds up to 100. So 13 is also possible. Once you see two possibilities here, you can straight away go and not. Option D, all of these are possible because more than one case you have already added.